Things are not supposed to just be easy. Things are not supposed to just work. I think sometimes we have to push ourselves to the edge of chaos to get ourselves to the level that we want to get to. So what's interesting is, and uh, I, was, um, I was taught this by Professor Walter Bates, um, and uh, he, he speaks about disruption at the edge of chaos. So in other words, that um, in order for you to move at the pace required to win, um, whatever your definition of winning is, um, you have to be right at the edge of chaos. You know, you can't be sitting in your comfort zone in that regard. And the example he uses, which is just so clear to see, is um, he puts up a picture of Valentino Rossi, uh, the MotoGP rider. And he says that um, you'd see that he's like right in a corner and he's sort of right and his knee is like touching the ground in the corner as a MotoGP rider. And what he, what he argues is that as an organization, you should also be at the edge of chaos in order to win. Because what's the alternative? That you sort of ride in an upright position and you don't go anywhere uh, fast enough. You know, don't get anywhere to the kind of lap times required to, to win that particular race or to win a MotoGP race. So if you're in that particular race, you have to be at the edge of chaos. And so, again, if you, if you carry on with the MotoGP example, uh, what happens? If you happen, something goes wrong when you're in that, in that corner, and you, something clips, and you lose control, you learn to push the bike away and slide out of it as a MotoGP rider. And then you get up, and the next race you grab a new bike and you go again. And I think there's something to learn about that, that things are not supposed to just be easy. Things are not supposed to just work. I think sometimes we have to push ourselves to the edge of chaos to get ourselves to the level that we want to get to, both individually and as an organization. And so if things go badly, that's fine. Push your bike away. Make sure that it's not a, a fatal accident. You get up, get back into the pit lane and get on the bike again.